welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, hi, my name is Kennedy, but you guys can call me Ken. Um, I basically vlog about my life, um, mental health, my lifestyle, all the above. I film pretty much about everything. Um, so if you're new here, welcome. I am more than happy to have you guys join my channel. I would actually love it. Um, but in today's vlog, as you guys probably see by the title, um, is something that's not going to be such a happy vlog. So, um, without further ado, let's just get right on to it. So, my period was late last week, um, which is a kind of why I didn't really vlog. Um, and then on top of it, like, life. So... My period was late last week. It was due on Wednesday. I think that was, what, July 20th? So it was due last Wednesday. And, um, it never came. So Thursday I took a pregnancy test and it came back negative. So I was like, okay, cool. So maybe it's just a little bit late this time, whatever. Friday came about. I took another test because still no period. And again, it was negative. So, like, I didn't think much of it again. I just kind of was like, okay, cool. So it's just maybe late this time, whatever. Saturday morning came about and I had used my last digital Walgreens pregnancy test on Saturday morning, uh, July 23rd. I used it with my first pee of the morning. And like, I literally was going to the bathroom. I'm like, why am I not testing this really quick? Like, why am I not just seeing what this is going to say? So I ended up testing that P as well, and that digital test came back pregnant. Um, it did not say not pregnant, it said pregnant. Um, and if you guys are new here to my channel, then you guys don't know that like Logan and I, and my husband and I are not trying for another baby at all right now. Like we're trying to be as precautionary as we can, but also like as natural as we can with like contraceptives so like I'm not on birth control but like we use other contraceptives um, so with that being said we have been very careful we have not been trying for a baby we don't want to necessarily try for a baby with two different things so for one I really want to start potty training Cohen before I even think about having another kid because I really don't want to have two babies and diapers at the same time but also at the same time whatever and two, we really would like to buy a house before we have our second baby. So like there's two really big things that like we want to accomplish and hit before we decide to add another baby to our family. Um, so with that being said, this was not planned. So it was a huge shock to me when I saw that pregnant come back to me on that test, if I'm being honest. Um, and I literally said WTF, like I said the actual words multiple times in a row when that test came back and I'm really mad because I didn't record my reactions during any of these videos and I am kicking myself in the butt now because with my next pregnancy vlog I really really want to like film my reaction and like get Logan's reaction like this whole thing like I did everything wrong so like I just think that like from the get-go nothing was like right we really wanted to be planned this time Cohen was not planned he was well, we were trying for a baby right before we got pregnant with Cohen. Cohen came, like, right after we stopped trying for a baby. So, he was, like, a surprise to us at the same time. Would you guys, if you're not new to my channel, you guys already know that. But, with that being said, with that pregnancy test this past Saturday, I came back pregnant. Um, I took another test on Saturday, and that was a lying test, and that also came back positive. Um, so for sure on Saturday I was pregnant and I had missed my period and I was sh like feeling slight symptoms of like early pregnancy but nothing like that would like it would be like whoa my gosh I'm pregnant. Um, so let me just kind of get into the details as far as Sunday and how yesterday Monday July 25th went for me. So. So Sunday morning, I woke up and we ended up going up to Home Depot because the night before we were going to the bathroom and somehow the toilet seat snapped and broke for some reason. I don't know why, but it did. Anyways, um, we were going into town to do that. So I wanted to stop at Target and get some more pregnancy tests because I just wanted to be sure. So I picked up some clear blue digital tests because I really wanted to be sure. And 
I just feel like Clear Blue is just like the go-to kind of brand to me. So I went to Clear Blue, got their digital test, and Sunday I took two of them. So I took the line test and I took a digital, and they both came back negative and not pregnant. So then I was like really, really confused on Sunday, and I was like, okay, well maybe like the Walgreens digital test that I had taken yesterday and the other test maybe were a little bit more sensitive than this test. Um, and like just kind of like kept going through my own mind like over and over and over again about like oh well, maybe these tests are like not accurate right now whatever just whatever i could do to make myself feel better again this pregnancy was not planned so like it was a huge 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 shock to all of us when i found out i was pregnant um but with that being said so sunday it was showing that i was not pregnant anymore Yesterday came about and I woke up and I went to the bathroom or whatever. I took a pregnancy test at four o'clock in the morning and again, came back negative and not pregnant. Um, so again, I was just like, okay, this is weird. So I went back to sleep. I woke back up to get ready for work about 5.30 and I had started spotting and it was like brown spotting, but it wasn't like excessive amount. So I was just like, hmm, maybe it's like implantation bleeding. Still just kind of brushing it off like, you know, nothing's bad can happen um so then like it kind of picked up the bleeding kind of picked up a little bit more and that's kind of when I was like hmm, okay this is a little weird this didn't happen with Cohen I know that like implantation is really rare but like it can happen whatever I ended up calling the OB as soon as they opened at 8 o'clock yesterday morning and leaving a voicemail on the nurse's line to have them give me a call back to let them know that I tested positive. You know, I got, I got positive pregnancy tests all on Saturday. I could feel some symptoms. And then Sunday night was when my symptoms were kind of disappearing. And then Monday, obviously, yesterday, everything was changing. They called me back and they wanted me to go see an outpatient clinic to get some blood work done so that they could run my ACG levels and see if they were like lowering or if they were stable, like all that kind of fun stuff. So I went and did that. I left work and went and did that really fast. And yes, I went to work, guys. I wanted to keep my mind off of it because I think I kind of knew, I knew what was happening. Um, so I went and had the blood work done and I came back and they said that they would be calling me sometime in the afternoon once they got my results back. So throughout the day, like my bleeding picked up a little bit more and then it started turning like dark red and I started seeing clots and that's kind of like when I knew confirming on my end that I was having a miscarriage at that point. And even though, like, this baby wasn't planned or anything, like, it still, like, makes me sad. Um, and even though, like, it was super early that we found out, like, it still is a loss to me, at least. Um, obviously, like, I feel like the moms get the more, like, emotional side of it because our mother instincts almost, like, click in as soon as find out we're pregnant um and that's kind of what happened with this situation it was a huge shock but I was looking at the positive sides of it and I kind of put all my trust into God at that point because I I just trust that there's a plan and I wanted to be positive during this pregnancy because during Cohen's I was negative and it was an awful pregnancy and so I really wanted to like start off this pregnancy positive and like loving and it just sucks that it kind of ended up this way so quickly it just like was so many different emotions all mixed into 48 hours huh? yesterday I basically spent all day like on and off bawling my eyes out um but about yesterday I'd say about 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, Monday again, so Monday, July 25th. Sorry, somebody was trying to call me. Anyway, yesterday, Monday, July 25th, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon was when the nurses at my OB clinic called me and 
And so I took the phone call and I just, I knew. And she said, so we got your ACG levels back and like her voice got super soft and like you could just tell that the tone got sympathetic. And like, I feel so bad for the people that do this job for a living because God, that must suck. But she told me that my levels were extremely low, almost zero, to the point where she does believe that I'm having an early miscarriage or possibly a chemical pregnancy, which is an early miscarriage as well. It just means that you're miscarrying before the five week mark. And I lost it at work and I actually went outside and I like took a minute to myself because like I think I just kind of got adjusted to the fact that like okay we're gonna be adding a new one to the family like we can do this I know that we can do this blah 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 like I was super super positive attitude about it and I started planning because I'm a planner and if you guys know me really well then you know that I plan a lot um, and so I started planning and I put a shirt in my Etsy box that said Big Brother on it for Cohen. And it's just, it's very, it's really hard to have to now like go and tell like the close people that I even like went out of my way to tell that I was pregnant that like I'm now miscarrying. And um, so yeah. That's pretty much the wrap up of the vlog. Um, I'm taking this week basically to myself. Hopefully next week I'll be feeling more up to vlogging again. I just, I'm, I'm sad. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like I'm mentally just like devastated and like I don't even know like how I feel about what's happening. Um, but as I'm filming this vlog, I am still miscarrying right now. sucks a lot. I actually just went up to um, town because I wanted to get my mind off of things and I ran up to Starbucks and got myself a drink and then I grabbed some of Cohen's gift cards that he got for his birthday to try to like cheer myself up or distract myself from what I'm dealing with mentally right now. And work. He's still in here, as you guys can see. Um, and he actually puts me, he distracts me very, very well, which is why, like, I'm happy that, like, I have him today. I'm not somebody who, like, will call into work. Which you guys probably think I'm crazy for, but, like, I was at work. And I was miscarrying at work yesterday, so, like, it's just, it's... At this point it is what it is and I've accepted it. I just now have to come to closure with it, I think, and move forward um, because a lot of things were changing. <laughs> a lot of things were changing this weekend, so everything's kind of going back to normal again, but things were changing very fast and I was willing to give up a lot, such as our Disney trip, by the way. So. Because I was going to be due on March 27th of 2023. I would have been five weeks yesterday. Um, so, yeah. That's today's vlog. It's not super fun. It's not super happy. But I feel like I needed to share my journey of what I'm going through. Because I feel like if you're searching for this kind of a video, then you're either going through it yourself right now. You went through it or you think you're going through it, you know? And I just feel like it doesn't get talked about as much, like an early, early miscarriage or chemical pregnancies. Like people think like, oh, a chemical pregnancy, like that must mean the test, like it had something to do with the test. No, it basically means that like a chemical pregnancy means from what they explained it is that it is a miscarriage before the five week mark, so. Either way, I was just pregnant with our baby number two, and now I am no longer pregnant. We are no longer having baby number two, 
and I am staying as positive as I can about it and I am going to just move forward as much as I can and hope for the best when we really do try for baby number two so you guys probably didn't enjoy today's vlog but um I figured that I could at least vlog what's happening in my life right now instead of just a haul or something again as always so I hope you guys are having a much better week than I am myself uh, and I will probably see you guys here soon go on can you say bye bye say bye so nice bye